Hi friends and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Thanks so much for stopping in. Today I'm going to be doing some craft projects or decor pieces that can be used for decorating any time of year and can be changed up. Except for the last one, that one is Christmas, but I couldn't help myself. <laughs> So to start out with, I'm using this really old frame and the backer to the old frame because I can't use the front because, oh my gosh, it is so cute. This is a really old a strawberry shortcake picture that I had. I just think it's adorable. So I will not be ruining that at all. I'm just going to be using the back and I might not even use the back. I might just cut up an like a piece of cardboard or something <laughs> but I just needed it for the size so that I could cut out the burlap and I'm going to be using this old sign it was um, actually in a dollar store frame from last year so I think you could probably still get it I just needed the words because <laughs> I don't have like a Cricut or anything that I use for um, you know vinyl lettering or anything so for this project, we're going to do like a grain sack look. So I am taking some masking tape and taping off the thickness that I want my first couple lines. And I wanted the first couple to be really thin. So that's why I taped them so close together. And then I'm using a marker. I believe it's a fabric marker. Can't remember. I've had it for quite a while, but you could use a Sharpie or even paint with, um, the little foam brushes where you just like kind of dab it on but this was easier I didn't have to wait for it to dry or anything so I did the first line and what's cool about this is you can reuse that same tape and then I'm just moving it over because I want to do another really thin line next to that one And I'm just kind of eyeballing it to make it just about the same size as the other line. And then just doing the same thing with the marker. And then for the next line, I am using a thicker masking tape to separate the lines, but you could use two pieces depending on um, the thickness that you wanted in between the next set of lines. So for the next one, I'm doing another thin line. And then after that, I'm going to be doing a thicker line. And this has got to be one of the quickest DIYs, but it turns out super cute. And like I said, these um, decor pieces can be used any time of year. It can just be changed up with like what you put around it for the seasons or holidays or whatever. So this is where I'm just making it a little bit thicker, um, like the line in between. So, well, actually not thicker. I wanted it, the separation between the little thin line and the big line to be um, quite small. So I didn't move the first piece of tape. I just moved that second piece. And then here I'm just coloring in the thicker line. I don't know, sometimes I should just stop talking and just let you watch. <laughs> so then for the bottom part of the frame, I'm going to do the same type of pattern where I do the two little thin lines and then um, a thicker line with nothing, and then you'll see. <laughs> so how's everybody doing? Is, are you guys having a good week? I know I am. I've been loving the weather. It's been in the 70s, which is crazy in November, especially here. <laughs> so we've been able to get some house projects done, which is really cool. And we're supposed to be getting new siding pretty soon, so I'm really excited about that. It'll just make it warmer inside. So 
I'm moving on to the second line. I'm doing the same kind of thing. And you could definitely, if you wanted these to be perfect, you could measure in between each line. It would be simple enough. I just don't do that. And I just eyeball everything. <laughs> and this burlap, I don't know if I already said it, but this burlap is from burlapfabric.com. You guys know I've worked with them forever. They have some great fabrics and ribbons and whatever you can think of. I will have them listed in my description box so you can head on over and check out the fabrics that they have. And now I'm just doing the thickest line at the bottom. Kind of matches the same size as the top. And then for the words, I'm just using this uh, graphite transfer paper. I've had this for a long, long time from Arteza and it works great. I did find out on this project, it didn't work nearly as well as I wanted it to. I think it was just the texture of the fabric or maybe I didn't push hard enough. But if you use a different fabric, this will work awesome. I'm pretty sure of it. I've used it on towels. I've used it on paper. I've used it on just about everything <laughs> but for some reason burlap it did not want to transfer very well it transferred enough that I could go over the words but you'll see here in a second but with the graphite paper I like to tape it down and also the sign tape it down where I want it so that it doesn't move at all that way you don't get any kind of like mess up with the letters so I usually just take a um, pen with a cap on it or like this is a mechanical pencil. I just have the um, the lead all the way in the pencil so it's not sticking out. I'm just using the plastic um, pointy tip of the pencil just so I could push kind of hard to get it to transfer onto the fabric. And I want to say this sign I actually used this transfer paper on um, the last DIY with this. Um, I did it like a year ago onto a, I think it was a cutting board or something. <laughs> I can't remember. I'll link it if I can find it. Or I'll link it if I can remember. Let's say it that way. <laughs> so as you can see, it didn't transfer really well. Um, it's super light. So I'm trying to, like if I lift up the fabric on my end it makes it so that I can see it a little bit better to trace it it's not going to look as good as if I could see the letters but I tried wouldn't it be so awesome to be able to do this freehand I need to start practicing again. And you can kind of see here that I was having a really hard time seeing the letters because I don't know the the letters that I was doing was kind of they were kind of I don't know, a little bit sloppy, a little bit messed up, but that's okay. <laughs> so after that's all done, I just took the frame, the wood frame around and put the burlap in with the cardboard backing. And that's it, super simple. And like I said, you could use this any time of year. I love it with Christmas decorations. I think it's super rustic and very pretty. and a perfect sign for Christmas because I love getting together with family. And also here it is decorated for fall for like Thanksgiving and stuff. 
So let me know what you guys think of that one. And if you guys like seeing DIYs like this that can be used any time of year. So for this next one, I got this blessed sign from Michael's the other day. I think it was Michael's. Yeah. Yeah, because we went shopping for Christmas trees. <laughs> um, and you will also need some paints. And you guys have seen me use this technique before with um, baby wipes, where you just take a mixture of different paints that you want, if you want like a wood texture look. And you just take the wet baby wipes with some of the paint and you just layer the paint on to give it the wood color that you would like. I'm taping off the word just so that I don't get the brown on um, the letters. So I usually add in yellow and brown when I'm doing like a wood look because I just, I like that tone. I don't want it to be too dark and I don't want it to be too like gray. And it's kind of fun because you can just keep layering and layering and <laughs> you just, I don't know, it's fun to experiment. And don't mind my nails. As this video goes on, you'll see I have less and less of the um, fancy longer nails on because, I don't know, I get to where I just like to pick them off. <laughs> They're fake, so it's okay. So after I was happy with the wood color, I'm just removing the tape and I'm going to paint the letters with this, um, I can't remember what it's called, toasted marshmallow color. It's a glidden color that I got from Home Depot. You can get like those little sample jars I just showed you. Because I didn't want it like bright white, I still wanted it to be like an off white. So after that I did the same technique with the baby white but with um, some black and brown paint mixed because I wanted um, the outside of the letters to just be darker and look a little bit more rustic. And this I was going to show you two ways like um, with this greenery I think that would look really pretty for like fall and Thanksgiving. Um, you could put any time, type of greenery or flowers that you want with it or you could go ahead and take these little um, greenery strips from the Dollar Tree and they're actually the perfect size and because they have a wire in them you can bend it around the edges like that and then just hot glue them on. And that's perfect for Christmas and you could even leave it up for winter because you're not adding any like um, reds or anything and I think this is so cute and so pretty I think it would look awesome on a shelf and those were only 99 cents I believe from Michaels I can't remember if I said that For this next one, you can use a wreath that you already have. That's one that I did in my last video. I will link that above. And also, you guys are gonna think I'm crazy. I'm going to use this plastic bag from Hobby Lobby. I just loved the picture on it. Obviously, I'm gonna cut the word Hobby Lobby out. But you can use um, anything that you want. I tried to film me cutting this foam board because that's gonna be the backer where I um, Mod Podge the bag onto. I just traced um, around the edge of that wreath. You can do any size that works for you. But I'm going to end up doing my own wreath on the outside. I'm not going to use the one I just showed you. So I just use that circle to um, place the bag on like the size that I wanted and you know the way that I wanted and I'm going to use a little bit of Mod Podge on the foam board. 
and you're probably thinking I'm crazy, but if you've been with my channel for a while, you know I love trash to treasure videos where I take anything from like the trash or recycle bin and turn it into something usable or a piece of home decor. <laughs> I know my husband probably thought I was a little nutty when I told him not to throw the bag away, but he knows how I am by now. <laughs> so after I get it placed how I want, um, it helps if you spray the foam board in the bag a little bit with water before you put it down on the Mod Podge, that way you can slide it around and push out the air bubbles. And this is what I was talking about originally, I was going to use this wreath to put around it but it was just too, I don't know, too much going on. So I'm gonna show you what I ended up doing. But first I'm gonna cut off the excess and you wanna wait for the Mod Podge to dry. That way you're not pulling and tugging on um, the plastic while it's still drying. So I waited overnight patiently, which is something I don't normally do. <laughs> um, and I flipped it over and I'm going to be attaching these um, wooden stir sticks or if you have popsicle sticks or anything I just needed something to attach um, the greenery to on the outside so I'm putting down these um, stir sticks so that they hang over a little bit on the edges so that I have something to glue to and I just did that all the way around So how many of you do that where you see something that's like, I don't know, meant to throw away or to be put in the recycle bin and you know you can turn it into something super cool? <laughs> so I'm just taking the hot glue and gluing on the little wooden stir sticks and I keep bumping my camera, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then just doing that all the way around. I know I get a lot of messages from you guys saying like your husbands think you're hoarders or whatever for keeping, you know, like stuff like this, like plastic bags or <laughs> plastic containers or whatever. I know for a while my husband, you know, was a little bit worried, <laughs> but then saw what you can actually make from stuff like this. And it saves a lot of money if you can do that. So then after I was done, I just cut it off and then taped, or not taped, glued the end to the beginning of the little greenery piece. And that's it. Let me know what you guys think of this video and think of these projects. Let me know what one is your favorite. Thank you guys all so much for your love and support. I hope you're having a great week. Stay safe and take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.